Navigating with a Libre Design is made easier if you know a few mouse and keyboard shortcuts. This tutorial will demonstrate a few different ways to zoom, pan, and rotate the view. This is the Viewing and Analysis ribbon group. Rotate View rotates a part or assembly around a given point. You can access this command by clicking the Rotate View icon found on either the View Orientation ribbon group or from the View group on the toolbar. You are given a choice because once you are familiar with a Libre Design's commands, you may wish to minimize the ribbon bar sometimes, so you have a little more workspace available. The easiest way to minimize the ribbon bar is by clicking the ribbon toggle icon located here in the upper right of your screen. To change the ribbon back to its previous state, simply click on the ribbon toggle again. Click on the icon and then click and drag the cursor around the work area. Note. You can also rotate the view by pressing the left and right mouse buttons at the same time while moving the cursor around the work area. This is often the preferred method of experienced users working in a 3D workspace because you can rapidly shift between rotate view and pan view by simply pressing the shift key on the keyboard while continuing to hold down the left and right mouse buttons and moving the mouse. Releasing the shift key instantly brings you back from pan to rotate again. Very handy when working with an assembly or complex 3D part. In a similar way, the scroll bar on the mouse is also very handy for rapidly switching back and forth between zoom and pan. Zoom mode dynamically changes the scale of the work area view, much like an adjustable telephoto lens on a camera. Click the icon, hold the mouse button down, and move the cursor up to zoom in or down to zoom out. Note, if available, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Scrolling the mouse wheel to you will zoom out. Scrolling the mouse wheel away from you will zoom in. You can also press the page up key on your keyboard to zoom in and the page down key to zoom out. Zoom to window located to the lower right of the zoom icon changes the scale of the view so that a specified region fills the work area. Click the icon. Click and drag a rectangle around an area with a cursor and release the mouse button when the rectangle borders the correct area. The area you just defined with the rectangle will now fill your workspace. Zoom to Fit, located to the right of the zoom icon, often called Zoom to Extents, restores the view so the entire design is displayed in the work area. This can also be accomplished by pressing the Home key on your keyboard. Pan dynamically moves the current view around the work area. Click the icon and then click and drag the cursor around the work area. Note, in 3D workspaces, you can also pan by pressing the shift key and the left and right mouse buttons while moving the cursor around the work area. In drawing workspaces, you do not need to hold the shift key to pan. If you have a three button mouse or your mouse's scroll wheel can be pressed down to act as a middle button, you can pan by simply holding down this middle button and moving the mouse. You can also use the keyboard arrow keys to pan the workspace. In this tutorial, you learned how to use the basic navigation functions of zoom, pan, and rotate. You were also provided with tips on keyboard and mouse use to make this navigation easy, quick, and efficient.